Hi everyone, this is Debbie Boyer and I'm so excited you chose to learn a little bit more about Flippity.net. Flippity.net is a set of resources that are free online that help your students learn and practice and rehearse content from your classroom. We're going to focus today on Flippity flashcards and I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demo just so you can have an idea and see how this works. But it's a set of flashcards that has the question on one side and an answer on the other. You can scroll through and look at all the different ones, but one of the things that's pretty cool about it is you can embed an image on the card and have the kids discuss or check answers or rehearse on the back. One of the really neat things is that when we're looking at the card, we can also embed a video right on the card. The video plays on the card. It doesn't take you out to YouTube where kids have all the distractions going on on the side. It all is contained within the card. So Flippity.net is an awesome tool. Let's go ahead and look at the template. And one of the things about the template is you're going to need to be logged into your Google account because it's going to ask you to make a copy and save it to your Google Drive. So when we click on that, and make a copy. It's going to take the template from the demo that I just showed you and put it over into your drive. Once that opens up, you can see that the content and the columns match the cards in the demo. You can also see that it is a, a named a copy of Flippity.net template. And so one of the things that I recommend doing first is to rename your template. And I'm going to call this one landforms. So now I have a copy of the template named landforms in my Google Drive. Now I don't want this content on my cards and so I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of that then hit the delete key to clear it out and we're going to talk about the color of the cards and the text color in just a second but this is a really great tool for differentiating for ESL, ELL, kids that I need uh, items read out loud to them, Spanish classrooms uh, or foreign language classrooms because it will actually read the card out loud to you and you can choose the language that it reads it to you in. So one side of the card could be English, the other side of the card could be Spanish. So think about ways to use it for differentiating for special needs. Now we're ready to populate the cards and we're going to do that through this, this sheet. And I've already got some text to paste in. And so we're going to paste in who am I? It's a great lead forward strategy. And we can take that strategy and put it now over into the flippity.net cards. Then we need to find uh, an answer on the flip side. I came in and did a search for Canyon and Landform. And it gave me lots of different results, but one I'm going to really focus on is going to images. And when we open this up in images, the blue bar went from all, now just over to images. And I have a host of images of canyons that I can choose from. I'm going to click on that, and instead of getting the link like you think we would, we're going to come over to the right and click on view image. And when I click on view image, it's going to open the image into where there's nothing else on the page but the image. So I'm now going to take that link and copy it. And I come back over to my landform spreadsheet and I'm going to paste that in so that I have a link within the cell. I want to go ahead and paste in uh, one that I already had for erosion and you can put the image on the front side of the card and then ask them to explain the characteristics or the process however you would have them think it up you can put on the on the side of the card and then the fun one is is we're going to say watch this video and discuss with the partner compare and contrast whatever you would have them do but here we have the video, and if you've not seen the Crash Course videos on YouTube, you're going to want to check them out. They have every grade level, every subject area, all the way up to uh, high school. They have everything in a Crash Course, and they're fast and fun, 
and engaging and so you might want to check those out. Now I want to put the video on the card but I don't want to go with the link because if I put the link on the card when the kids click on the link all it's going to do is take them out to this YouTube page with all the distractions on the side. So I'm going to look right down here at the bottom and there's a place for share because I want to share it to the card if you'll think about it that way and when I click on share it gives me some options to share out the link or we can choose to embed and that's what you're going to want to do. The embed code is down below and I'm going to right click on that embed code and copy. Not the link at the top but the embed code and then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and paste that in and that is all I have to do um, to get that onto the card. Now one thing that I don't like is I can't see the entire link pasted into this cell and so something that I like to do is just to go ahead and highlight both columns and format that column to text wrap so that I can see the whole link. Now this width is 560 and the height is 315 and this means the YouTube viewer, the size of it. And 560 by 315 is too large for the card. So I want to leave the quote marks, but I want to come in and change this to 400, and I want to make the height be 200. And if it doesn't work just right for you, you can always come back in and readjust it. But what that means is I'm adjusting the size of the video on the card. And now that I have that, I'm going to set the color of the card to blue and I'm going to set the text or the font color on that card. I don't really want red, so I'm going to change it to black. I can change the card to pink and if I leave it blank, the font is going to be black and then I can go with green and blue. Now if I leave all of these colors on here, I'm going to have a bunch of blank colored cards for my kids to scroll through and so I want to highlight all the colors that are left that I'm not going to use and delete those out. So now I have everything exactly like I want it and I have to publish the page for it to be able to go out to the web and onto the cards. Very easy to do. We're just going to go to file and publish to the web and anything that I make a change to to the spreadsheet will automatically be pushed out to the cards and all I have to do is click on publish and it's going to say are you sure you want to and yes I do and so now I have easily published the spreadsheet to the web. I'm going to look at the bottom of the spreadsheet and you'll see a tab for demo and one for get the link here. Now there's two tabs in the same spreadsheet two different pages and I'm going to look at the one forget the link here. It reminds me don't forget to publish your spreadsheet first because if you don't publish it it won't turn and go out to the cards. So if you go to the cards and there's a little spinning thing and you can't make it work remember you have to publish it first. And because of the wonderful power of technology it takes everything that we've entered into the sheet and converts it and makes it into the cards online ready for our students to use. All we have to do is click on the link and it will open up the page and have the cards ready to go. Now you can see Who Am I? Great Lead Forward Strategy and when we flip that over we see a stimuli of either a graph or a chart or a map, anything that you would want the kids to interact with. We can see the second card that we pasted in and this one's of a drawing with arrows and then the flip side asks the kids to tell us about that, either the characteristics, the process, compare and contrast, whatever it is that you want them to do. And finally the third card, when we flip that over, is the video and we can watch the video right here in the card. You notice that the card colors were set by me as well as the font color. Now the little speaker will let us mute the cards being read out loud or we can unmute and hear the card being read. We can also go to the next card this way if we'd like or we can shuffle them up so that they get the cards in a different order. And then as we work the way through the unit or the learning we can go back to that spreadsheet 
add more cards and let the kids just continue to build those. Another great thing, let the kids build their own. Why not? They have a free uh, website here and if they have a Google Drive account, they can do the same thing that we just did. Now when we get ready to share this out, there is a share link at the very bottom of the screen and when we click on it, it's going to ask us, do we want to share to Google Classroom? How cool is that? Or do we want to make a QR code? Makes it instantly for us so we don't have to go through that process and then the kids can scan it with a QR code reader on their phone or their iPad and can go out to the flashcards instantly. Or we can copy this link and paste it into an email or on our web page or any way that you would share out a link with students. Awesome tools. I would love if you would share with me how you're using it. And you can do that. Follow me on Twitter at Debbie Boyer5 and let me know what you think and how you had your kids think it up and use the cards. Have a great day.